Hello fellow YouTubers, back again, another unboxing, a big unboxing, Fanatec. Uh, I used to have Trustmaster, I had my Trustmaster over here, Formula 1 steering wheel, which was a force feedback of course, the, with the base and the pedals and the whole lot. This is good, it's very good, it's extremely good, but if you have a Prosimo uh, T1000 three directions of field uh, motion platform that I'm going to build. I wanted to upgrade my racing gear as well, meaning my steering wheel, my pedals, shifter, the whole skabam. Uh, Trustmaster is good. It's uh, the first step to sim racing, I think. I think it's, it's much better than Logitech. Uh, the next level is Fanatec, which is in a price range that's affordable. So that's where I'm going. I ordered a whole lot of Fanatec stuff. Uh, it's also, also going to be force feedback. So this was force feedback. The Fanatec is force feedback. Um, maybe the next step will be a direct drive wheel, which is even more intense, more realistic. Uh, but uh, I was hoping now in uh, February 2018 that um, Fanatec would already have their direct drive wheel online to buy. But they're not ready yet, so for the moment I just bought their uh, force feedback wheel and their wheelbase. So we'll try that one and maybe maybe it's someone for free to try. Wishful thinking, isn't it? Yeah. So look how many boxes I have. Let's take a look. So I got like this whole stack here to unbox. So I'm gonna do it at force and uh, rapid speed so you don't get bored again. Nicely packed, by the way. Maybe too nicely. Wow, well, look at this. Isn't that a beautiful piece of kit? This is a beautiful piece of kit, even if I say so myself. That is really beautiful. This is gonna go well on my Pro Simo racing simulator. Look at that. That's really nice. I'm happy with that. The looks alone. Up to the next box. The wheelbase version 2.5. Connectors. Ah, pretty, this is heavy stuff. I mean, it feels solid, it's metal. Let's do the plastic thing. Oh, didn't make a lot of noise there. That was disappointing. Now, look at this. Isn't that nice? Really nice. 
Look at the shine. This is good build quality. Oh. It's a few reps to see that. And you can look inside, I don't know if you can see that. You can see the belt inside, so it's still belt driven. Maybe someday I'll get the direct drive wheel from Fanatec. We'll try this first. Sport shifter, very heavy as well. Make sturdy stuff. Here is where you put the cable in to connect to the wheel base. And this is your extra bit to go on top. If you're gonna go sequential or an eight shift. Steering wheel, of course. Gotta have the base without the steering wheel. We'll be oh, put it that there. Plus Sport Porsche 918. One of my favorite cars. They all put in nice, not very nice bags. Guys from Fanatec and the logo on top. Nice. Look at this. It's the creme de la creme. Let's say Porsche. Steering wheel. Very nice. Nice battle shifters. LEDs over here. Very nice. Fanatec logo, metal shaft, foam handle. Feels quite sturdy. Well, I have to put some press on that, which is good. So I like it. No one will be a flimsy hand ring. Good. Again, the fanatic nice bag. Let's call it handbag, shall we? Fanatic handbag. Get it open. Cut it. Oh, look at the back side. All nice, nice and metal. Very sturdy. Shift pedals and the front. Very nice. It's got LEDs, a screen, loads of buttons, a tiny joystick. Look at the make of this. This is... They're expensive, but... If you look on, online, you got loads more expensive stuff than this. I mean... Some stuff you can really actually buy a car for, a real car. Which is nuts. This is more than enough, I think. Does the trick. Got the Alcantara side set. So this was my Fanatec unboxing. I have to put all this stuff together. The Proxima simulator, racing gear, read all the manuals, install the drivers, Pfft, loads of stuff. But I'll get back to you for that. And meanwhile, hope you enjoyed the video. Bye guys.